my name is Makayla. Um, I'm from Coventry, I'm 25. So I'm currently trying to paint a sketch that I've drew of Lady Godiva, but specifically the statue, that's why she's like bluey green. I'm trying to make her a bit more current with what's going on today. So even though it's an old story, I think it's quite relevant to stuff that people feel in society today. Um, so you can't really see it at the moment, but I'm gonna give her some tattoos and try and make her look a little bit more punky rather than the statue that we all know. I picked the statue myself because I felt like as a woman trying to protest I could kind of relate to it. I feel like quite a lot of people in Coventry can relate to it as well. The protest that happened just recently, the Black Lives Matter protest, one thing that I found interesting that linked with the both was they actually met at the Godiva statue, left their protest boards on the statue, like it came a bit of a heart of the protest, if that makes sense. I'm Rory, I'm 24. Um, yeah, I'm Cameron, 24 as well. This is like a cityscape, so that's just like Coventry, the cathedral, the spire. We've got like an angel, just like St. Michael, I think it is. The one off the cathedral, so just painting the town with lots of tape. <laughs> a lot of tape. <laughs> a lot of tape. <laughs> as for Bogota specifically, we were having um, Zoom meetings talking about, uh, first it was kind of like the challenges young people face in the city as artists. And then the second one was more about the positives in our city and what's good about it. I found that they really had a lot to say. They were quite passionate about the positives in their city, even though there's quite a lot of negatives and quite a lot of hardship for uh, especially young people. One thing that they express in their art that we've tried to kind of pull across is that it kind of means something, it kind of tells a story. Sometimes, specifically for them, they were saying that it was a bit more of like protest art, but in a lot of situations, it was kind of like things to celebrate their city. So we've done that in our memorial here. So the Phoenix is also part of Coventry as well. To do with the Blitz, like when we came, rose from the ashes. Exactly. We're including like people of sort of every sort of nation, every sort of... So, well, there's Colombia involved exactly. over there. Bogotas also going to be included in that. Basically, one of the guys on the Zoom was Hayden. Yeah. <laughs> so, he doesn't know yet. Uh, I'm Tarek I'm 24. It's, it's a very new thing to do, and there are things like language barriers and stuff, but um, it's been... Funny enough, that hasn't really been a problem. Like, it's, I thought at first maybe it might be a little bit of a challenge to sort of, you know, um, have that kind of interaction, especially when it's all online, you know, it's obviously going to be much easier to interact with them in person. Uh, but it has been really good, um, and we have been able to, you know, we have like uh, shared group chats and stuff where we send each other photos, um, they send us articles about stuff, their artwork, we do the same thing back, we're sending them progress on, you know, what we've been doing here, and there has been like this really nice communication, uh, you know, considering that they're, you know, miles and miles away. We've been doing it, what, about a good um, 12 years now, haven't we? Yeah, so like, yeah. we started when we were about 12, I think. So yeah. Yeah, half, half our life we've been doing this now. It became more of a passion than a hobby at one point, didn't it? I don't know, I feel like anyone can kind of do street art in a weird way. Because Michaela over there, it's her first time. She hasn't really done spray paint before, but she's as good as sort of anyone. Smashing here. it really, isn't yeah, she? Yeah. The horses look. It's been quite fun because we've been working as a team. Um, there's a quite a lot of experienced people with us as well. Um, I know Jay and Izzy and uh, Ant have all had experience with memorials and uh, big pieces, so they've been guiding us. Um, even with the fact that I'm not used to spray paints, they've been going step by step with me, making sure, like shadowing me, making sure I know techniques, what uh, things to use, just so that I'm finding it easier. And they have helped a lot, to be fair. It's probably the only thing in Coventry right now that we could really think of doing street art and putting it all together. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, we used to have the blue boards, didn't we? That's why we, we used did, to paint yeah. together all the time, but now um, with not many options, it's good to be able to finally actually get a wall together and get creative again. Yeah. City of Culture really helped young people from Coventry. Without it, I don't think we would have done this without it. No. Really. And then we get one opportunity to sort of get your foot in the door. You've done a mural now. You can apply to do more murals, and you've got obviously City of Culture behind you. That you've done it for so yeah, involved in something step. big ain't it yeah it's like it's a professional sort of step that's why i kind of want to see it carry on after city of culture i don't want it to just end 